as always we will start with a bit of a rough scanning of everything that's going on in here so in here we say vessel.htb and then we let it run and this is gonna take a while all right we have an http thing going on all right the second thing we want to do is we basically want to do this one the ports uh match that which is nice they don't always match because that's like from a cheat sheet of mine and now we wait again and in the meantime, well, we don't have to wait because we have bound a server. Okay, the waiting is over as well. Now we have this Apache version. We could check out if this one is vulnerable and also check out it's... So I called it vessel.htb. This one seems to be like the most up-to-date one, which is okay. And maybe we just check out what's on the website, right? So we have HTTP, that's HTTP. And we have like a plain and simple website over here. Just your run of the mill marketing agency, blah, blah, blah website. We at Vessel making and selling projects for big and small companies. All right, what does that mean? Find out more. We've got what you need. We do many different projects on different subjects. We make robots, sites, and a lot more. Wow. They seem to do everything and they have a quality up to date worldwide and made with love. Then they have some generic stock images with some text. Okay, we see new software, newest hardware. We have a form, which is our first potential attack vector. Okay, so we have a form here, which is maybe one of our first attack vectors that we could take a look at because we also have a login. Do we do something with the login? I mean, maybe, come on. We don't have a certificate, so we can't get any information. Sign up. We can sign up. Okay, let's try like using the sites like normal people first. And everything is just filled in with Senate. Currently not available. I mean, what does that even mean? Test, test.com. Test, test. Now register. Ba boom, boom. And we have no payload. Wait, why not? How do we pass? our data if we have no payload i mean maybe that's the issue maybe that's why it's not available right all right but let's do this a bit more professionally so first of all we go here to login and then we go in here and we research exploit this one Logi. and then we look for uh, let's make this a bit bigger and move it over here so you can see what the hell I'm doing and our version is 2441 which seems to be all right 2441 is this exclusive to those or do they work on all versions that come before that I'm not sure we're gonna just grab those and grab this no we don't care about the notes we paste this in here our version is this one so just getting basic information about our targets use the patch chttp is this one boom all right we're just gathering some information right now just looking around what's happening over here now the next step i want to do first of all is passing so let me uh, grab my cheat sheet about Passing. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, I've already done something like this a million times. So I don't need anything. Vessel HCB. And let's just append this to TA pass log. Now we can let this run in the background or we can stop this and we remove the fast log. And then you can actually just check out the help and see how we can output the file with oh okay who, who would have thought that and then we can see that a lot of those return size 26 so we are just gonna filter out the size which is fs 26 if i'm correct and then we output the in the web boss folder and we let it run and we found we found a dev a login and some other kind of stuff that's interesting we also found admin over here unsure what all this redirect means mean but that we may take a look at those in the future so we just as i mentioned before we're just gathering data enumerating our target and trying to find out how we could potentially find a way in now something that we could do in the background while we're waiting for this, of course, is a new tab. Move into a hack the box vessel. And in here, we can perform some brute force attacks. 
which first of all means that we have to like prepare an inspect here, go to network here and then perform a login attempt with a simple admin and then login. Oh no, those were wrong. Who would have thought? I hoped it was wrong. Now we copy this as curl uh, login request, right? Actually, can I zoom in here so you can actually read what I'm writing? Login request is this one. Boom. And now we need to use this information to build our uh, brute force attack, which I hope I have installed Hydra. Yes, I have installed Hydra. Fantastic. Now we do a Hydra word list and then we have what's called sec list and there we have passwords and we are just going to use the FTP better. What? Don't we have that list? Passwords, equal credentials, and in here we have the FTP better the password list. Then we are gonna use our server IP or name, which is West HTB, followed by the port, which in our case is port 80, and then HTTP get, and the endpoint is slash login. Okay. No, you know what? Actually, it's not as easy as that as that because it's not a get. We have actually an HTTP, what is it called? We have an HTTP post form. And in here now we have to build like this huge string, which I'm just going to copy paste from my cheats sheets because it's going to take forever to type this one out like this. Boom. Now we have to change some things. Namely, it's not called login PHP. It's just login. Username is correct. Password is correct. And we want to check for the, what is this form called? What? Maybe we just copy the outer HTML. Let's paste this in here real quick. Let's get this. Maybe something like that, right? Wrong credentials. Try again. We're just setting up Hydra so that we can check. If we see this HTML block, we know for a fact that we are still not logged in, right? So then we have here. F form name login. We have this. Okay, that's gonna be complicated with all those things. Let's just grab this text. Maybe that's maybe that's enough for us, right? We go in here and we say a failure is shown by having this text. And now we execute it. And somewhere we have a quote that we didn't close. Fantastic. Let's go up. Okay. All right. Let's do it like this then, I guess. Okay. Uh, I think we did it wrong because I don't think admin admin worked, right? This is form action equals yeah slash login. I mean, how how long am I taking to like just start the brute forcing? That's kind of a pain right now. Come on. Anonymous, anonymous, as if. Nah, didn't work. I mean, the endpoint is login, right? Oh, sorry, I'm so stupid. I have to check out where this gets posted to. Yes, it's login as well. I mean, I do have to correct requests here, right? We have a post request with the API login. Ah, okay, 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 okay. It's not just a login, it's an API login. Let's go to wrong credentials. And in here we say AP slash API slash login. Maybe that was the issue the whole time. It looks better now, but we found no passwords. All right. So I guess we have to try different word lists. One that always seems to do the trick is uh, the thing. But this means that we have to find one for usernames, which I think we have one as well. So let's just clear this one up. So we have the usernames with L, which is user share word lists. And then we have sec lists, username names, names, followed by P for the passwords, which are user share word lists. Sec lists, is it in sec lists? Passwords. We have leaked databases. And in here we have, let's go with the biggest one. And then we will have to wait forever. Or maybe we find it this way. And while we're waiting for this one, we can take a look at this thing. So we have a JS, we have a dev. What's on dev? Let's check out what we have to offer. 404. Okay, fantastic. So apparently dev nothing for us. We have admin. What's in admin? Let me move this over here. Okay, so we have interesting things going on here. You can go away. Uh, in here, we just write down slash API slash login. And here we say incorrect or something like that. What did we use here? Wrong credentials. Try again. 
paste it in here. Boom. With a space. Something like this. All right. And now on to the next thing. And we have the interesting endpoint, which is, first of all, we have a slash API. How I, did I notice this? We have a slash login, we have a slash admin, and then we have some other interesting things, namely register, but uh, that didn't work. Register the way we intended to. Maybe we need to pass like the data by hand. Uh, Dev does absolutely nothing. So let's go take a look at CSS. What's in CSS? CSS. Okay, it didn't find anything. I doubt it. But uh, let's go into the debugger. Here we have JavaScript. We have a script which is just an event listener that does what? The sidebar. Okay. My ad block extension is in here. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the main page. Maybe we find some details there. Mm, okay, it's just enough bar shrinking stuff let's take a look at other things we have js oh okay so we have a couple of scripts in here let's take a look at them okay the first one called scripts.js seems to be like bootstrap we note this down as well because we never know what we're gonna use later down the line data from Java script. In here we have query selector sidebar. What does it do? Set item. Okay, that doesn't sound very interesting to me. And in here we have GitHub. Okay, I uh, doubt that this is something interesting for us right now. Okay, I don't think that's the interesting part for us right now. And we have a logout thing. Which, okay, let's see if it works. It doesn't seem like it. What do we have next? Logout. We have 404. We have images. So let's go to im. Okay. That's also not great. Let's do an im get slash. Okay, that's 404. Oh, and we have an email recovery thing. All right. Okay. This is, a, a, sorry, a password recovery thing, which is interesting. Let's write this down here. Perfect. Okay, we have a reset password thing which is cool if we find the email and then we have a server status okay which is forbidden okay so let's note this down pretty interesting later on and what do we have in we have login with a big i but i think that's just gonna redirect us to the login screen right it's not gonna be a different login screen or is it okay then we have a privacy policy in terms of condition which leads to nowhere maybe we find an email address on the main website in the meantime we are gonna force this api for endpoints we get nothing and we are trying a get maybe we should try a post that would make more sense for an api right so let's grab this let's open up a new tab this is still breaking our password uh what do we have vessel and in here we paste this and how do i say i think it's like uh like curl so just edge post and we will be using post and we already found a couple of things mainly the register one etc all right okay maybe we can read up on what these endpoints actually require so let's go to api slash register okay that's obviously not found maybe we can curl it right okay so this redirects hmm. Okay, interesting. All right, we are just waiting for more. What do we pass here? We have the a API here. In here, we have the password cracking. In here, we have the API with posts. Here, we have it with get. I don't think that's going to give us a lot of things. All right, but it just means we'll have to wait and see what happens on either one of those.